right, starting the video here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually show you on, a, on the iPad how you can use accessibility for voiceover. So that way you can listen to Kindle books and other eBooks, listen to web pages and blogs via voiceover. So you can actually hear the voice being, uh, you, you, your content can be read to you if you do this correctly. All right, so what we wanna do here first of all is we wanna go to settings, click on settings. And once we go there, we want to go to general. So when we go to general, it gives us a lot of different options, but we're looking for accessibility. So click on accessibility. And what that does is it gives us a lot of different options. First of all, first of all, what we want to do is we want to scroll down and we want to turn the accessibility shortcut on to voiceover. So voiceover is now the accessibility shortcut. That means if we triple click the home button, click, 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 then we, it will actually uh, activate voiceover. Another thing that we can do is click on voiceover. You can change the speech. You can go in here to speech right here, click, and change the language, right? So maybe you speak Australian. You can go in there and do that. Maybe you speak UK. Maybe you're from Orland. All right. Anyway, so you can do that. Go on voiceover, change the speed, speaking rate. You do not turn voiceover on here because if you do, it's going to be activated for the whole thing. That's kind of a pain in the ass. So what we're going to do is we're going to click back and we're going to go to Kindle. Click on that right there. So now we have the Kindle that's turning on and we have a book that's that's popping up right here. What book is on here? What is the book that we have here? All right, yeah, interesting book. So we can read it with our mind right here <laughs> or we can actually click the button three times. Voiceover on. Kindle. Double tap for menu. Swipe two fingers down for continuous reading. All right. Double and swipe tap down. Abundance versus scarcity. Abundance creates energy. And envy. Scarcity. Drains it. You need to surround yourself with people who are batteries and not black holes. I, if you don't have an abundance mindset or plan to adopt one, put this book down now because nothing I say in the next few pages will work for you. A scarcity mindset is zero sum. It's a mindset that says there is only so much available in the world for everybody, and that everything needed for future survival and progress is either getting scarce or running out. If someone does well, so, it must I'll be go ahead and tap it again. One, two, three. Voice over off. Yeah, but you notice uh, it will continually read for you. It will switch to the next page and whatnot. So it's definitely pretty cool. Uh, I use this in my car. I connect it to my Bluetooth, and so while I'm driving, I'll listen to uh, listen to books. Um, I'll listen to books while I'm at the gym. Uh, I'll listen to books, you know, here at my desk just by connecting to Bluetooth or just listening through headphones. So I don't listen to a lot of music, but I do use this all the time. So there you go. Something to uh, something that could be beneficial to you using accessibility and voiceover to listen to Kindle books.